Art, because it doesn't follow any rules, it gives you the space to look at the same problem from another angle that shocks people out of their compassion fatigue and makes them look and feel harder. I'm a former refugee who went through public school and somehow ended up being a cartoonist. I'm also somebody who's gotten to realize a lifelong dream of telling my family's story against this backdrop of the Vietnam War. The best we could do is an accidental memoir. It needed a main character, but it's really based on my family and the story of the Vietnam War as experienced by Vietnamese people, which I felt was a perspective that was sorely lacking. So I wanted to tell it in a way that was accessible to a wide range of people. I'm pushing myself to try to tell another story right now of equal length about people who came, like me as refugees, but had a very different path in life and ended up in the prison system and then in ICE detention. In October of 2017, uh, we saw massive ICE raids on Vietnamese and Cambodian refugee communities. And we were struggling how to capture the stories of those that were impacted by the raids. So we reached out to Tibui to start illustrating and telling the stories of different people around the country who had been picked up in these raids. And she managed to capture the humanity, joy, love of these people. I was kind of working on a different book and then ALC staff sent me five tweets in one day. I was like, let me see what I can do in an afternoon. They sent me pictures, like three photos, and like a like a bullet point, like sort of bio about Moni Neth, their lead plaintiff. I just drew a picture of him and wrote up my own version of his story and just put it up on social media. People connected with it who might not have even known that Asian Americans were affected by deportation before that. The more I learned, the more inspired I got, and the more I felt like I need to do more. Art Hack is a group of volunteer artists who get together every so often to help an organization do a thing. And there are a lot of artists who follow the news and like would like to get involved but have no idea how. The third anniversary of the Muslim ban was coming up, so we set up a meeting and I think about a 10 or a dozen artists came and within two weeks we had this new comic made and it's still making the rounds right now. Art is really critical in allowing us to imagine a different world beyond the current moment we're in. If artists are more into this social movement world, I feel that, especially like the young generations, if they see in social media cool arts or graphics, that's something that you can roll them in. I'm trying to finish writing this book called Nowhere Land. It started out being just about Southeast Asian deportations, and as I researched, it mushroomed into um, an observation that we have all of these physical spaces where we stuff people who we don't want to let uh, into our conception of us. And it all boils down to like this notion of um, protecting the people already here from the people on the outside, whereas the reality is our borders are a lot more permeable than we'd like to think, and our identities are actually a lot more complicated than one nationality or another. There's no way that you can stop migration. People are always gonna try to get to a better place, and that is just like, that's just human nature.